Welcome back to Across Louisiana, Acadiana Style. Appreciate you being with us here today. We're going to run a feature now with a group over in the capital area that is making a huge difference in lives. It is the Salvation Army. Take a look. We began serving here in, in Baton Rouge, Greater Baton Rouge area, in 1905. And so we've had continuous service of almost 100 years because we left for a couple of years and then came back. The mission that we try to fulfill every day is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and to meet human needs in His name without discrimination. And it doesn't matter how you come to us, who you are, what you've been through, what your beliefs are, we're here to help people. Raymond is a young man who uh, came to the Salvation Army about 12 years old and uh, he came for a little while and then he kind of backed off because you know he had some kids in the neighborhood that were kind of wooing him toward a lot of the bad stuff, uh, getting involved in gangs and things like that. And uh, fortunately, um, through a, an acquaintance that he had, he got reconnected to the Salvation Army and he, his connection now is very strong. The Salvation Army is like my second family. They are like my best friends, my brothers and sisters. They're always there when I need them and on the right time. The Salvation Army saved me from the my bad guys in my neighborhood. He always, the Salvation Army showed me love and comfort that I have not have received before. If it had not been for the Salvation Army, I'd rather be in shot up, probably in jail, or in somebody's graveyard. But thanks to the Salvation Army, they really, they really turned my life around. They brought me a long way. Now I'm at home in a peaceful household. My grandma to help her out. Everything's feel nice now. The Salvation Army really can benefit a person if they are ready and willing for the change that can take place in their lives. And uh, I think we provide opportunities and, so, and sometimes we provide resources through the community providing the Salvation Army resources. But ultimately, it's up to that person to step out in faith and do what's necessary to make a change in their lives. You know, Walter's uh, another interesting case. Um, he, he's, a, he's doing fabulous today, um, but he has been in prison. Um, he, he, he was a tough, tough person. Um, he fought at the drop of a hat. Um, and when you hear from him, you're gonna say, is that, is that the same guy that Captain Meredith talked about? Because he's, he's gentle. Um, he's loving. Um, God has come into his life in a big way and it's made such a tremendous difference. If it had not been for the Salvation Army, I would probably be dead or either incarcerated because my life had become a very unmanageable. And with the help of the Salvation Army and the good people that carry the Salvation Army, I'm given a second chance at life. I was out of places to go. I had nowhere left to go and I'd even went to the parole officer and tried to turn myself in and God had a better plan for me. He said, look, go across the street to the Salvation Army and see if they'll give you a room over there and maybe you can stay. There are a lot of needs in our community and the Salvation Army wants to provide hope that those needs can be met in one way or another. Looking back at myself now, I would never believe that I could be this person I am today, that God can truly take care of something that it managed to cross so low and be so cruel and mean to everybody and care about nothing but yourself. And now all I can do is take care of others. That's all I want to do because God gave me a chance so I have to give back what was so free to give to me. Our goal in the Salvation Army here in Baton Rouge is to really meet the individual and try to make an impact in an entire family. I'd just like to thank the Salvation Army for bringing me a mighty long way. We're going to take a quick time out for a commercial break. We'll be right back to wrap things up here on Across Louisiana. Stay with us.